kings and priests it's not just enough if we rented a hall and we brought the loudest of music it's not just enough to celebrate this woman but she has put restrictions on flamboyance and loud noise and she has just said this is the modesty that has characterized my life for which I want to remain please can we give another clap ovation to half of that she will not do anything Flamboyant. Come on, Nikki Mama, no one thousand. Why is she to go on for ministry now? Before you spend it onto herself. This is to the glory of God, and we are happy. So, in doing that, Dara Simi will join me here and give a psalm of praise. Dara Simi is one arm, not one leg, of the third, and I saw the third in their glorious colors here. So, will the third please welcome Dara Simi here? I should take the sound of thanksgiving. I will to give you again. And I rather will. You have your Bible, your phone, let's read it together. Are we together? Let's read it together. One, two, go. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Praise thy faithfulness, O oh God, my Father. Thy faithfulness. There is no shadow of turning with thee. There is no shadow of turning. Thou changest not thy compassion, they feel not. Thou changest not thy compassion. As thou hast been, thou forever will be. As thou hast been, thou forever will be. We are only two. Mike and myself. Gloria is the top Because I don't know why someone can be dear. Glory the aspect. She endured and works together with your God. I didn't have anything. I too I was managing them. But my brother said that this ministry he wanted to do it. And God gave me the wife 
That's why I say, Gloria is not my wife. She's my daughter and my mother. She acts as mother for the two of us. We thank God for keeping her. Um, um, she's a real gem. She's a jewel. Uh, of all the, uh, you can't phantom her price. She has a heart that I love so much. The children have said that you know she's firm, but loving, and all of that. It's true. It's true. She has the mind of Christ, and she's an embodiment of love. In fact, thank God that we are partnering together in rearing you know another generation and i want to thank her because she has given us the privilege in christ to be able to add our touch even though the children have left our home and it's a rare privilege thank you so much we come from muslim family our father was muslim my mother, Muslim, but when they got to the back, my mom became Christian. And uh, she, she died. She, she was a Christian. She died in Christ. Praise the Lord. Now, I'm the fourth born to my mother, my mama. And to the glory of God, uh, as uh, my mama said, glory is. My daughter and my mother. It's my daughter and my mother. My mother in so many cases. If I can begin to see it yeah. <laughs> And my daughter as well. Gloria was in primary two when I took her to the fellowship. My father and oh yeah, let's go to fellowship. I gave the first care I got to church in Indonesia. First day I got to church, they come to our family, they pray for us. Yeah, let's go. And we uh, give our life to Jesus Christ. And uh, affiliated from the war, oh, they glory no Jesus. That is the king there. Titi do you know me? But the balance of the record is cool, cool, there is Jesus. And you do very no more, no more, no more. Mamma, <laughs> God bless you in Jesus' name. So, as the saying goes, ladies first. So, I'll hand over to my, to my wife to start, then I will give you that. Over to you, my dear. Praise God. Um, sometimes to gauge how I'm interacting with my husband, if it's appropriate, if it's right, I just have to look at okay, what will made you do? How will she have spoken to me? Yeah, the my car she have responded to the situation. So she's she's basically she's an example. She's a leader, she's a mother, she's a confidence. She's not she's someone you can talk to when you have issues, when you have burdens, you know, just share and she's always willing to to um, counsel us and to respond to us and to also charge us to and encourage us. So like I said, there what there are no words to summarize, but mom is a blessing. <laughs> Thank you. Praise the Lord. So, Mamiji, <laughs> the, um, the grandchildren call her Mamiji, Mami Gloria, Mami Gloria, and they call Daddy Daddy Mike. Um, I call her my first girlfriend. <laughs> because she's always on my matter <laughs> to make sure we get it right. Not just me, but my siblings, Joshua, and uh, she's just so particular that we fulfill the purpose of God for our lives. And I call her the vision. She's, you know, we know about the vision career. My mommy, geez, I say she's a vision career. I was, I remember one time. Can I appreciate God for? 
I'm going to push it first. Huh? She's a vision fighter. That is, she sees, she sees far. Like, there was a time when um, I wasn't married then. And one day, uh, mom just called me and said, Daddy, do you know one day I saw, I had a vision. When I see a little girl, I was ministering. And the little girl ran to me and hugged me. And that little girl is your daughter. And at that time, I haven't married. So one day, in the just concluded um, singles program, mommy was ministering. And immediately she finished ministering, she came down. Then, just then, my daughter Gloria just ran to her. And, and she carried Gloria. Immediately, I remember that mission that she said so. So she's a mother with a vision. And I want to appreciate God for her life. She's many things. She's a mother to Mount Zion. She's a mother to. Um, drama ministry, and she can't really do. She can't do this thing without. Nobody can do this thing without vision. And I thank God for giving her that vision. There's so much to say, but mommy is. She's an amazing mother. She's friendly. She's loving. She's strict yet loving. There are times she would want you to do something that you may not want to do, but the way she would say it. Be like okay let me just do it <laughs> and mommy is very spiritual she's very spiritual and sensitive and discerning and yes yeah, she's she's a a prayer a prayer <laughs> warrior indeed she's a virtuous woman it's it's just amazing being her daughter i've not had any reason to regret being mommy's daughter praise the lord uh, uh mommy is a testimony i'll start with that uh, whoever can raise a child like me <laughs> and remain young like mommy. <laughs> I've heard so many testimonies about my childhood and I've witnessed so many things that so many impartations that she has imparted into my life. Um, as I, when I was younger, those things I didn't fully understand. <laughs> mommy's own is too much, mommy's own is too much. The older I got, the more grateful I became. And now that I have a son too, and I'm seeing some things. <laughs> With every passing day, I say thank God for mommy. Because all the things they used to say I used to do when I was young, or maybe the way I cried. Yeah, and everything. And seeing how she handled me, you know. Mom appears soft, but mom is firm. Mommy is tough. Um, she has seen a lot and she has um, she has passed through a lot. She, she's a mother not just to her children, but to children in general. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mama. While I was reacting in my head what I going to, to say, I remembered um, a meeting in Abuja many years ago, 2020. And I was in a hotel. And then it was firing close at my heart. Thoughts like what you're doing is not really counting. Thoughts like you're wasting time. Thoughts like after all this work about fire fire everywhere. What will it all amount to? And I was just there, I don't know why. It was landing and 30 minutes within one hour. I don't know how to one hour, 30 minutes, within two hours. And I was just feeling tired and drained. And the next thing. The call company. Hello, Lawrence. Exactly, I should be called. <laughs> Hello, Lawrence. See you, sir. I took you in the white tears in my eyes. He said, What is the problem? Ah, what is the problem? I could not deny that there was a problem. My concern was how she knew there was a problem. And so, anyway, I shared with her and then she called me and prayed for me. I think that that was just one of many times this kind of thing to be happening. Yes, thank you for having a listening ear to Thank you for being there. Thank you for always being there. It's always a joy to come back home after school and just, you know, come my heart to you. Sometimes I'll literally be writing gist, you know, the whole stuff. Like I'll come back home and have something to talk to you about because I always know. Speaking with you and talking with you, you are literally my best. You are still my best friend after my husband. <laughs> <laughs>
I remember one day when I was still waiting on the Lord to get married, one day she just said, she just said, the Lord just told her that you start to dance. That time we were in effect. And I was looking at her. She said, just, just, oh yeah, dance the way you will dance the day of your wedding. Dance, dance. And I was looking at her. And I was supposed to have and start to dance. And I start to dance. I tell you, not long the Lord just did it. <laughs> she welcomed me warmly. She shouted, Ah! Brother Isaac, you are welcome. Ah, brethren, I've just left for Lagos now. Don't pass your pen, buy one day, buy one day. Ah! I was looking at myself. She welcomed me. She taught me a lot of things. And that alone made me to stay in the ministry. That welcome was too powerful. I don't know whether she remember. Honestly, then you know, I want to know you. See, I would have the only few minds. But we have the same idea. As here we glorify the name of the Lord. Of course, no. He will kill us. So, and on me. Thank you so much. 